whether you see it as art or vandalism, there's no escape in the street art and graffiti of Manchester. Walls can be found plastered with tags, murals and portraits, with inspiration coming from all facets. While some look to create beautiful artwork, others are looking to provoke the thoughts of those passing by. Standing alone in the alley of the Northern Quarter is the stunning portrait of an indigenous man of West Papua. The work is a creation of artist Del Grimshaw, painted with the hope of raising awareness of the colonisation of West Papua. It's quite easy with street art to, there's a lot of superficial stuff out there and it's not for me to criticise. You know, I don't really want to just go along with some of the stuff that's out there and even though commercially it might not necessarily be the best, I've always tried to have really powerful imagery and it worked. It really does stop people in the track because one, they're walking down a rainy northern street and they're kind of like, oh. you've just got this tribal child or these tribal warriors looking at you. But once I start putting in the eyes and then the expressions, it win it disarms people. So I know the mules are working in a way because we're all human beings and the imagery just grabs people and then it communicates with them here. Since 1962, West Papua has been owned by the Indonesian government after a controversial referendum. Though awareness of the issue isn't widespread, artists such as Dale are hoping to play their part in the campaign. And we've all experienced bullying in our lives to a certain degree. We might have done a bit ourselves and had it done back to us, but it comes down to international bullying and I just think we need to just become more responsible as human beings and, and, and try and um, respect you know, the environment and, and its inhabitants more. So, it creates, it's, it's like, it's like a starting point for people. They often say, why are you doing that, you know? Just last year, 1.8 million signatures were given in a petition to the UN, showing that hope isn't lost for the West Papuans just yet. But people who were aware of West Papuas were, you know, two years ago, these people, I mean, it's not just single-handedly me, but certainly in the street art scene, which is an international scene, um, everybody knows about it. And I'm not saying the right, I'd be lying if I, so that inspired lots of people to get out and really be, but I think that awareness has that knock-on effect. I'm just me, really, and all I've got is my spray can and my paintbrushes and my skills. The artwork starts as a nice pretty oil painting and a mute and then it leads to something else.